So round 11 then, penultimate round here. Rustan Chagayev, the challenger for the WBA title. In action against the reigning champion, Nikolai Valuev. This is interesting, Chagayev's taking the fight to him straight away. <laughs> Well, it's, it's certainly been fairly changeable, this one, hasn't it? Yeah, it's been fascinating. Really good heavyweight fight. It's, um, we've seen better skills on offer in the past, but those, those left hands are good shots. What a brave man. Yep, three of them there from Jagayev. Yeah, he's, he's game, isn't he? he? He's thought, yeah, that was a bad round. Right, I go out and make an impression. Well, so far, Bob, I feel vindicated by Jagayev's performance here because I did say a fighter of his uh, ability and uh, courage would overcome value F, although that hasn't happened yet um, it could do well he's made a good start he's made the impression he needed to make and now he's being careful and well, yeah good counter and well there's a push there from value F and who can blame him good time out here because the gum shield's gone yeah, and Chagath needed that I think he's quite happy with that he's puffing a bit but this is his big effort will it be enough Whew, round 11, and it's been a fast, like Bob said, a fascinating contest here between these two men. And only once really has uh, Nikolai Valuev resorted to any uh, tactics of using his weight when he pushed Chagayev a moment ago, which made his gum shield spurt out of his mouth. Nice right there from Valuev, but he missed for the follow-up. Yeah, he's just not getting the punches on, is he? He's not getting enough. He gets one every so often but then hits gloves, falls short. There's no snap about Valuev, is there? No, he's gone tired all of a sudden. Uh, as if the early assault from Chagayev took just a little bit out of him, just yeah. knocked him out of his stride, out of his rhythm. Breathing very heavily here. Yeah, and his right hands hit arms and gloves, and then he took the left-hand counter. Yes, yeah, a signal this for Valuev. He can feel this one slipping away, I'm almost certain of that. Better body shot from him. He's trying so hard, but it, it's, he's just not been able to make the impression for long enough, has he? He's fought, he's had spurts, spells that have worked. And he's a very incorrect puncher. The elbow's always high, which means there's no power behind the shots. Um, and he does that with both the left and the right hook, doesn't he, Bob? Yeah, he, 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 it's too late to teach him now oh, yeah, at 33. He, he is he won't what he change is. Him now. You could adapt him still with little things. He can go back and learn from this, but um, he won't it's change the basics. He's got no finishing instinct either, has he? No, and this is a good round for Chagayev yeah. now. He's, I thought he might struggle in the last minute and have to hang on again, but he's not. He's handled this. He's stopped the rot. Well, almost got on the blind side there, a blind side of Valuev, but... Uh... Well, he's safe around there. <laughs> he just needs 10 more seconds and he's won this session and for me that's put him clear yes me too well nice bit of work there right at the finish and value it but not quite enough I think I think whatever he's saying value F gets the message so and uh, well, so do we yeah <laughs> I think he's got to come out here and just go for it he's just got to pile the pressure on try and wear chug F out and and hope the judges are a little bit kinder to him than we've been and maybe get a knockdown that would that would maybe turn it his way who knows it, it is close it could be close 10-8 round would really bring it very very close indeed here we go then 12th and final round to decide the WBA heavyweight championship and Nikolai Valuev needs a knockout to win this as far as we're concerned at the moment 106 103 behind three rounds behind one to play and how will Chagayev see this? Will he take him on? Looks as if he will. Just took a decent right there, Chagayev. Yes, he did. Oh, well, another decent right there from Valuev. I can't remember the last time two Russians uh, competed for the heavyweight title. Bob, can you? Well, they won't thank you for calling, well, Valuev's Russian. But they were once Chaga upon a time. Oh, they were Soviets. Slight oh, difference. Soviets. <laughs> First Uzbek challenger for the world heavyweight title, by the way. And only one Uzbek world champion prior. Uh, sorry. Well, I say prior to this. I mean, I'm pretty confident that your guy's going to get it. Well, he's got to survive this. He's under fire again. 
He's had that big effort in the 11th, and that was good tactical work. He knew he needed it then. The last round was too late, and maybe he can steal the last round, but he knows Valuev's is going to pile it on now. Well, I think Valuev is winning this one at the moment. I think so too, but Chagayev's OK. He's not coming to any harm. Um, and maybe he can pull out a last big minute and just persuade the judges, but a couple of points on our cards, nothing. That's, you know, well, nice the Valuev could easily retain on that. Yes, I agree with you. I mean, you know, if we have it one or two rounds one way, the judges could certainly have it the same the other, as we've seen time and time again in Germany. One left hook, the left cross, in fact, getting through there from Chagayev. And that's been effective all the way through the fight, hasn't it? That's been his fight-winning shot yes, right he... from the beginning. He didn't put full meat into it at the beginning, but he just gauged what Valuev was about. And Valuev looks like he knows he needs a knockout to win this, Bob. He does. He do, he's got that sense of... of he just uh, You can almost feel him just searching for the big shot. Yes, and only the, well, the first real clinch of the fight. And yeah. it's happened in the last minute, the last round. And how many heavyweights fights could oh. we say that about? This is a good fight. And he's been hurt, you know. Valuev has felt the weight here of Chagaya's punches. And he's a pretty mean puncher. Yeah, he's taking more than he's landing on the inside there. I, I, I think he's he's probably 20 seconds left. He's, he's done enough. Oh, good right hand from Valuev again. And it, he's probably done enough to win the round, but he's, he's not done enough for me. No, me neither. Well, Chagayev now looking awfully confident as the bell is just around the corner now and Valuev may well have nicked the last round, but it looks like Chagayev could be the new champion here. He thinks so. Body language totally different in each corner. They're so delighted. They believe they've done it. They, they'll think they've won by a mile well, because their one, game plan works. I don't know about you, Bob. 115-113 uh, for Jagaya for me. Yep, and the look in Valuev's corner, they almost know they've been beaten. Yeah, you could see it different ways, but... Um, Seven rounds to five. Chagayev, they're just delighted. Their plan worked. Their game plan worked. They set out to do something. They made it work. Uh, you know, that, that goes back right to the beginning of the training, right to the moment the match was made, when they thought, how do we, do, how do we beat this big guy? How do we do it? Well, we don't know if he has yet. Um, no, that's but only our opinion, 115, 113. It's always in the hands of the judges, but they... They know they've done all they could. Has Ruslan Chagayev become only the second Uzbek ever to become a world champion? And set, well, not necessarily a new trend, but certainly a very recent trend here of Eastern Europeans coming good in world title bouts. Well, that was good enough to see again. I, I doubt it'll happen soon, but, you know, Valuev played his part. And who knows, if he looks at the tape, maybe he can work out what he's done wrong. Maybe he can work out the, just that he needs to pile more pressure onto this man. Here who go. knows, maybe he'll get it anyway. Here's the scores. Well, that means a majority decision. One fourteen. He's gone for the draw, and I can understand why, Bob. Well, yes. Hector Hernandez aus Mexico wertet den Kampf 115 zu 113. Well, same as us, 115, 113. Well, which way? Yes, Hector Chalem Prayasab aus Bangkok in Thailand wertet den Kampf 117 zu 111. 111. Nine rounds. That's why. To three. Who's got it? Now, oh, new champion, Rustan Chagayev is declared the WBA heavyweight world champion. Only the second Uzbek ever to become a world boxing champion. Whew, Bob. Well, one judge was very wide for me, but the right man won. Um, he's, he, he's, he executed his game plan, and uh, the judges saw what he was doing, and uh, a deserving champion to me, Valuev. Well, he didn't fight well enough. He'll go away, think, OK, what did I do wrong? He wasn't beaten by a mile, but uh, the right decision. Absolutely right. Well, that brings us to the end of our boxing here. I do hope you've enjoyed it. We certainly have. Take care of yourselves. From Bobby and I, I will see you soon. Goodbye.